This video is sponsored by the makers of Eevee. Hi there, this is Amy Ostan with amyeveraffter.com and I take a lot of photos, like a ton of photos. And some of them I mean to be very public, like the ones that I put on my blog or um, on social media. And then others are super private, like I just text them to one or two people. But then there's this whole middle group of people that I have trouble sharing photos with, like close friends and family. And the problem is we're not all on the same platform and there's no place for us to go where we can share easily and privately, especially if they're pictures of my kids, because my kids are teenagers and they don't want their pictures posted anywhere where anybody who's not really close to us can see them. So I've been using this new device, it's called Eevee. And EB is a smart photo sharing manager. And what it does is it organizes and stores your photos right here on the EB. It's not on the cloud, it's not on a website. And then you can share privately with your inner circle and they can share with you. And everybody in the inner circle can see what everybody else is sharing and they can comment on the pictures and like them. It's like your own private wall. But the best part is I'm the only one who has to have an EB. My inner circle doesn't, so I buy the EV and there's no monthly fee. And then everybody else can use it to back up their photos. It holds two terabytes of data, which is like hundreds of thousands of pictures and videos. And we can all just share with each other, but it gets even better. Let's say that there's an event like a party or a wedding or a vacation, and you want other people to be able to contribute to an album for that event. You can invite people, people from your inner circle, not from your inner circle, to collaborate on just that album. And then those people can also add their pictures to your album. And you can even share a link to that album where people can't do anything to it except see the pictures. So they can't add pictures, they can't edit anything, they can just see it. And this would have been so amazing when my family was in Europe this summer because, you know, I would see my daughter take a great picture and I'd be like, oh, email that to me. And then we'd forget about it. And, you know, the pictures are everywhere. They're not in one place where we can all look at them and share them. If we had had an EB, we all could have just gone onto our EB app so easily and just shared the best pictures that we wanted to to the album for that trip. And then I could have sent a link to people back home so that they could have seen what we were doing because I posted pictures from that trip, but they were just pictures of me or pictures of scenery because my kids didn't want to be in the public pictures. So this way, their aunts and uncles and grandparents and friends, they could have seen the pictures back home while we were adding them to the EV app and they wouldn't have been public. They just would have been available for people who had that link. Plus, my daughter dropped her phone in a fish tank in Venice and we thought her pictures were gone for good. Luckily, the phone was okay and we had the pictures. But if we had had an EV, we wouldn't have even had to worry about it because we could have set it up so that it was automatically backing the pictures up from her phone. So I would encourage you to buy your own EV and see what it can do for you. See how it can bring you closer to those people who want to see your pictures without having them splashed all over the place. And I will have more purchasing information in the description of this video and on my blog, amyeveraffter.com. And you can also get more info by going to meeteeb.com. That's M-E-E-T-I-B-I.com.